talking about it for a while now. The cicadas are here by the millions, maybe billions, who, not, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but they're in East Tennessee, all that to say. So now that we know what they sound like, what they look like, the question is how do they taste? Mm -hmm. So our resident cicada chef, <laughs> Shannon Smith, is live in the kitchen whipping up some buggy dishes. I will not be your sous chef today. Well, okay. you don't know You take that it yet. away, friend. People haven't voted yet, Robin, but you're <laughs> you're here just in time to pull my cicada, my chocolate chirp cookies out of the oven. Whoa. Like okay, let's 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 take a look. All right, I truly just um, put some cicadas on top of the chocolate chip cookies, but <laughs> you know, I, oh, there they go, Foxy. <laughs> But there we go, that we got our chocolate chirp cookies that will uh, sit here, cool down a little bit as we start to uh, deep fry some cicadas. Um, but so while I get started, I wanna let you guys know like, well, where did Shannon get all of these cicadas that she's gonna fry? Um, well, it came from my friend, Chris Ogle, who lives out in Kodak. Um, he was able, he was nice enough to show me around his property where as soon as you get out of your car, you are hit with the sound of buzzing cicadas. And he said he wasn't expecting brew to show up in his yard, but he started seeing the holes in the ground and soon enough, his yard was crawling with cicadas. And I asked him if he planned on eating any of the bugs infesting his yard. Would you ever eat a cicada? Nah, I don't think I would, but I know my, I know we got a female turkey around here. She's on nest somewhere close by and you will watch her come out and she will get in full stride and she knows exactly where to come to down here. Yeah, she comes right here and she will feast and she gets her belly full, she goes home. So, you know, his turkey is taking care of it and, um, you know, we're doing our part as well to help clear out the cicadas in the yard because the Eagles are more than happy to send me back to Knoxville with a jar full, which is what I'm using to cook now. Um, ooh, ooh, that one, I feel like they're still alive even though they're not. Um, I want everybody to know I have never cooked a bug before, so if this tastes bad, um, it's probably equal parts my cooking skill and, and the protein of choice. Uh, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna put it in some egg here, and uh, oh, I feel like it's, it's still grabbing onto me, even though it's dead. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna throw it in some oil. There it goes. So who's gonna eat my tacos and my cookies that I'm making? Uh, no one in the newsroom has said yes when I asked them to do it. Uh, John Becker already ate one. So, <laughs> <laughs> but he's still in the running. Um, so you can vote on the 10 News Instagram story to see who is going to be eating the cicada. Beth, Todd, Robin, John, Robin, you were close to eating one at four too. She really <laughs> wants she wants some cicada sushi. So I, I if mean, you can have one that's uncooked. Tempura sushi. I think Ooh. I think I'll pass on okay. the cicada sushi. But, right. Okay, my dog discovered them this weekend oh, though. Did and she like them? She really did like them. It were like, whoa, 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 sister, you need to pull back on those because <laughs> she was going to town. Oh, but that's they funny. say dogs like them. Yeah. We'll see you in the kitchen just a little bit. Shannon, thank I'll you so right much here. for cooking them up. <laughs> <laughs> 